Hey everyone, back here with another pickups video. This will be my pickups for the month of August. So starting off here, I did pick up uh, this one figure here. This is off eBay. I guess it's kind of slowly influenced by uh, BFG reviews. Uh, this is Kumi uh, from an uh, anime called Sekirei. Uh, I'm not sure if I pronounced it right, but uh, so this is her good. It is like a PVC figure. Uh, she does uh, pop off in the middle there, and you can remove this little cloak, but she's on her stand there. Um, this was the little box that came in. This came from uh, Japan, as you can see there. So that's the overall picture there. So we got that. Um, really happy with it there. Uh, so that's the first thing there. Uh, the next thing here, uh, I got this from, um, my dad actually gave me this. I guess he picked up at some point. Grad selling anyways. Uh, it's a Model 1 Genesis. Um, comes with the AV cord and a controller. Uh, it doesn't have the power uh, supply. And it did come with two two games. It came with uh, NHL Hockey, uh, which is complete, as well as Mario Mio Hockey. Both of them are complete there, and this was, I guess, essentially was uh, free. So, happy with that there. Um, I'll have to get a power supply to test that Genesis out, though. Uh, moving on to some stuff from, more stuff from eBay here. Um, I got a complete uh, Super Shredder figure. Uh, very happy to get this one. It's got all its accessories there. I think this ended up being 30 for him, for everything there, but really happy to get him. Uh, I did pick up some manuals here. Uh, so first off, uh, you got side pocket for the NES. Uh, so this one was uh, $5, so happy to get that. I got a few N64 manuals. Uh, from one seller I got Dual Heroes and Iggy Wrecking Ball Balls. Uh, I think these worked out to about $5 each as well. Uh, so happy to get those two to add to my collection. Uh, these next three manuals came from a different seller and they worked out to just under $4 each. I got Tonic Trouble, Wind Back Covert Operations, and Paperboy. Uh, so that brings me down to about, uh, I need in there 80 manuals to have every manual for N64 games. So happy to get those. And the last thing from eBay, I got a copy to go along with kind of that statue. A copy of uh, Sekirei for the PS2. This is a Japan only game, and I'm pretty sure the PS2 is region locked, so I can't play it, but it is complete, and I kind of really only got just to go with that kind of anime collection there, kind of thing. So, there it is. I'm not even sure what kind of game it is, but uh, it was fairly cheap. I think it was only like 15 bucks or something like that, or $20 with the shipping, kind of thing. So, got that anyways. Uh, moving on to stuff. I got from Walmart. I obviously got a copy of Rare Replay. Uh, I don't have an Xbox One yet, but I figured uh, better get it now, kind of thing, because I don't know how uh, abundant these physical copies will be uh, of Rare Replay, so I got that brand new. Got a couple more of the Turtles figures. Uh, this is the remaining of the line of the the live action role playing uh, line that are the four Turtles there. So I got Raph as a barbarian. I already previously had Michelangelo as an elf there. Uh, and then I got Donnie as the wizard, and the last one was Leo as the knight. So happy to get those. Uh, they were on sale for eight dollars each, so I can't really go wrong with that. And like I said, I do have, uh, I don't know if he's on here, there he is right there, Mikey is an elf. I picked him up probably last year or something like that. Uh, happy to get those. Um, moving on, uh, from Valley Village, I went there once kind of in the month of August. I picked up, this is a Raph with the uh, with the, new, the movie series Raph, with the undercover Raph, so uh, he has his hat, the only thing he's missing was uh, his little sunglasses there, but uh, he was $4 I think for him, uh, so can't really go wrong for there. that price. And the last thing I picked up from Valley Village, um, probably wasn't the greatest purchase, it was 3 bucks. it was a uh, space model for the Intellivision. I couldn't really tell since it was in a plastic bag if it was complete, but it wasn't, it was just a cartridge, so... Uh, probably not the greatest price for uh, an television game. But I got it anyway, so I'll probably just end up um, reselling this or something like that, trading it or something. Uh, next up we got uh, from Amazon, their Amazon exclusive, I got the, the Palutina uh, Amiibo figure. Uh, for it's like retail, whatever it was. Worked out to $15, whatever it was. And then a couple of, yeah, $15 for that. And so happy to get that. Um, <coughs> From Chapters, 
I got uh, picked up by Resident Evil Relations, the official complete works. And it pretty much just talks about all the characters and uh, the settings and all that kind of stuff and the monsters. So, pretty interesting. Happy to pick that up there. Uh, next up here, we got some grad sale stuff coming. Uh, so, I found a Splinter, uh, the 1988 version of Splinter. This was 25 cents. Um, the one I have actually was the uh, soft head. This one is the regular plastic head. So, for 25 cents, couldn't really go wrong with that. Uh, I got a couple of GameCube games here. Uh, first off, we got Simpsons Sit and Run. This one was $2, and it was fully complete there. And I also got the herbs, Simpsons in the City, for 2 bucks as well. Fully complete. Can't go wrong with the $2 GameCube games. Next up, I got a copy of Metal Honor Rise and Sun. This one was a dollar. Um, I just got it pretty much to make an upgrade of my copy, so I took the best stuff and made uh, mine the most in the best shape kind of thing. So, for a dollar, it was good to upgrade my copy. Uh, probably the biggest purchase was a copy of Super Castlevania 4. This one was $100, but it is fully complete in the box. Um, as you can see, the box is in pretty good shape. It just got the one little kind of crush on the one side. Otherwise, it's in really nice shape. I did not own this. Let's see if we get out here. So we got cartridge here. And the label's in great shape. It's got the dust sleeve and everything. And the manual is also in here. Get it out. It is in great shape here, too. So we got that. I have to do that to my collection there. That's probably the big purchase of the month. And last up, I seen this was at uh, Dollarama. Uh, these two games, I guess they're probably, I think they're probably uh, pretty uh, played games. It also comes with Aragon, it's supposed for three dollars. Um, because you can, I don't know if you probably won't pick it up, but uh, the Aragon's in a regular case and looks like the Power Play, Power Pro is whatever is in a black case. So let's, I haven't opened it up, so I don't know if these are complete or not. So let's go ahead and do that. This probably won't go. As neatly, but let's see how we can do here with one hand here. So three dollars. Well, let's open it up and see what we got here. Um, the game's probably only worth a couple dollars each themselves, but let's see. So we got Aragon here first, and it is complete. And actually, this is in really good shape. That one, and let's see here with the MLB Power Pros, and it also is fully complete. Now let's take the disc here, and it is also pretty good shape. There you go, three dollars for that from Dollarama, surprisingly. Um, so that wraps up my pickups for the month of August. Uh, picked up quite a few things there, so hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.